Hello, today we're going to have a review of the Zeppelin Spring Gauge. Uh, it's going to be a short review on this item. You can kind of see, you can see the different uh, rates it can do. Newton millimeters, Newton centimeters, pound inches, or gram force millimeters. It operates on 5 to 15 volt DC. And a very simple device, no other buttons or shapes. Now in the box, what you get is the spring gauge and a 5 millimeter shim. And I'll, I'll show you how that works here in a second. You also get an, an alligator clip to plug it in. And what I did is for this demonstration, I'm going to plug it into a battery just so we can see it, see it go. So when would you use this gauge? Just turn it on. Now when... Uh, where, where this gauge becomes invaluable is if you have a couple of springs and you don't know what rate they are, what brand they are, what color they are. Say you just bought a, a bought a roller or something from somebody and it came with a bag of springs and now you're looking at them wondering, well, what the heck are these? Now, so how this works is you just is you take the spring, put it in the holder. You can see. I set it that it's just barely enough to hold it in there. Usually it shows like um, 0 0.43, 0 0.58 on the spring gauge. Um, so in this case, what I want to do is measure that spring. And in fact, I have a little, I got a little printout as to what the rate is supposed to be. So you put it in, uh, this, this rate is in pound inches. I'll just show you how to switch it. So right now, one little dash there means Newton millimeters. You hold down the, the zero button for a second. And you see two dashes, that means Newton centimeters. Hold it down for three seconds. Three dashes means pounds, inches. And that's what the scale is in. So I put a spring in there. Again, put it in the, in the machine, in the gauge. Now the trick to the gauge is, is that this is a 10, milli, 10 millimeter space. So it, it's measuring the compression over 10 millimeters. Press the button to zero it, compress the spring, you see that this spring measures at a 215, and you can see the red spring is a 216. So then if we look at this, you can see that it is a red spring, it has a little red line on it. Take another spring, put it in the gauge, just barely, you can see it just barely fits in there, just enough to hold it. Zero the gauge, compress the spring. And this one measures at a 195, and you can see that the gray spring is 196, and it actually is a gray spring. So that's one use of it, is to, to, to figure out between a group of springs, you know, which one is which rate. Another thing that you can use it for is when you're changing your shock oil, you can measure to see if your springs are losing any, any uh, compression over time. So here it is, we'll, we'll just try these two reds. I put the spring in, zero it, compress the spring. This one here says it's at a 2.14. Try the other spring, we're gonna see if these two match. Zero it, compress the spring, 2.15. So they're, they're very close. I find that on the pounds, inches, uh, the calculation is not very accurate because it's it's measuring one pound of force is supposed to make the spring compress one inch and you can see that there's it's not even an inch of travel so it's actually trying to round it in a certain way that it it's not all that accurate it's within 0 0.01 so that says 216 i'll just measure this one again you put the spring in zero it and compress it 215 so it's these two springs are within 0 0.01 of a pound inch, which is quite, you know, pretty accurate for the for that. Uh, now I'm going to show you how the spacer works. So you get the five millimeter spacer in the box, and then I bought these additional two millimeter spacers uh, for other tests that I wanted to do. But I'll just show you how the five millimeter works. Again, you put a spring in, you zero it. But in this case, the spacer fits in this space right here. 
And what that's going to do is only allow five millimeters of compression because five millimeters is taken up by that spacer. Uh, when you use that is if you have a very short spring, like a touring car spring that will only compress, you know, maybe 10 millimeters at the most, so you don't want to compress it completely. So I'll just, we have it zeroed, I'll press it, but you see now it measures at 0.09. So when you, when you uh, reduce the distance of compression, you have to multiply it by two. So in this case, 1.09 multiplied by two is 2.18. And you can see that, you know, it's a little bit off when you, you have to do your own math and the rounding that's going on with this gauge. So it does reduce the accuracy when you use the spacer, but you're able to compress more springs that way. Now this time I measured it 1.07, that's 2.14. You can kind of see that it's, you know, it's within 0.01. So that's the Zeppin spring gauge, the ZR SG1. I'll put a link in the description. They're about $40. I'll put a link in the description to the manufacturer, and I'll also put a, a link to uh, an eBay site that actually sells these. And sometimes you can get them on a good price. Okay, if you like this content, just click the like. Maybe put a comment and list more videos that you want to see. Talk to you later.